Today's bench day. We're back here. And um, got three more weeks of uh, heavy duty training to do before the last week uh, before the meet. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing here is just trying to build up my strength on this uh, bench press uh, since, uh, you know, getting rid of this injury here in, in the left shoulder here area, chest area, bicep area, this whole area. So, uh, so far so good and um, so just build my strength back up and um, so right here I got uh, 117 and a half pounds. I bumped it up two and a half pounds from uh, the last session. Also, um, I have to uh, pause it and then I have to get my groove back. So there's two things I still have to get uh, done here. Pause and groove. So, uh, alright, so I'm going to do uh, four sets of one rep. This is the first set. All right, so if you can get that groove back, the uh, slightly easier. It's a lot easier to get the groove where you get the uh, that arc up from your chest. You arc it up rather than just push it up, because then you get some of your back involved into it. So uh, right there, I did it. Kind of sloppy, sloppy, but I got it. I got the arc, the groove. So that's what I have to work on. All right, so in that last set, uh, I sort of got the groove. So let's see if I can uh, do it again. Okay, that was a little easier, not the greatest, but it felt good. Alright, so I've been uh, trying to uh, pause it for a couple seconds, try to just uh, fake it uh, like it, I'm at the meet, waiting for the uh, command, and then when I press it up, I have to also hold it and wait for a command to rack the uh, bar. So. I have to hold it there, and so when I'm doing the press, I gotta make sure that I don't hit the uprights with the bar before she says or he says um, rack it, otherwise it, the lift is no good. So I gotta be careful with that too. So the last two, I said uh, it was not that bad, it was not that great, but uh, I was able to uh, get that groove up there. And uh, so I'm going to try to do it again here in the third set. Also, I'm trying to uh, arch the back. I took the uh, pad out of there because I don't want to get used to the pad and use that all the way through my training and then take it out of there and then I'm used to having it there and then all of a sudden now my, my whole uh, position on the bench is all screwed up. So I just wanted to use it just to see how much uh, of a arch I can get.
I did the uh, the press and the groove right, but I lifted my butt off the uh, bench. But that's all right. Um, that was just a little bit off, but I, I know it was air between the butt and the bench. So my butt will drop down once I get used to pushing it back up into this groove. All right, this is the last set. You see uh, how the groove is going to work out this time. Did the groove, but lifted the butt. But, all right, I'll be working on that. All right, so that's it for the bench. Now I'll be doing uh, and going over and do the uh, incline. Okay, we're here doing the incline bench, and I'm doing it with just the empty bar. I'm just gonna rep out the uh, the set so I so I can keep this limber here and and not let the scar tissue build up again. Because it's still a little bit inflamed, and as long as it's inflamed, there's going to be scar tissue developing. So I got to keep this from not happening. So uh, another thing, I'm doing body uh, bodybuilding style, where I don't let the bar touch my chest, and when I come up, I don't go knock out. I keep the tension on the uh, pictorial muscles through the whole the whole rep up and down. All, all through the whole whole uh, rep range, no uh, letting loose of the tension on it. So, all right. So I'm, I did two sets already. I'm gonna do two more sets. I did uh, two sets of twenty. So we'll see what we can do here. Also, I do this suicide grip style, and it's closer than my uh, the the uh, hand spacing is closer than, than the you know, competition bench. All right, just the last set. I did 20 uh, reps on three for three sets, so I'm gonna try to get 20 reps on here. I'm keeping the tension on the whole area here through the whole rep range, like I said before, and uh, you can really feel the activation. There's no uh, resting in the rep range here. 20 reps of continuous weight on the chest.
So that's it for bench press day. I'm going over and uh, do my shoulder routine. And uh, I'll put a link to my last uh, a bench session. I had my shoulder routine in there. Anyway, if you guys haven't seen that video, you'll see it. And you'll see what my shoulder routine is like. So, uh, until uh, I see you back here in the basement, stay healthy. Don't leave just yet. Stay for a recap. Alright, so we're here at the recap for bench day. And uh, I did uh, push-ups for warm-up, 23 reps. Then I did uh, the bench. And I wore, started out 45 pounds for a warm-up. And then I uh, finished at 112 and a half for the warm-up. And then I did workload four sets, 117 and a half, one rep each. I wanted to get uh, my groove back. Um, so it wasn't really that bad. Um, I'll get better as I go along here for the next uh, three weeks. So uh, then I went to the incline bell barbell bench. I did four sets, 45 pounds, just the bar, 20 reps each. I just wanted to pump some uh, fresh blood into the area keep the uh, area from starting to uh, accumulate the um, scar tissue up there in the shoulder and, and uh, chest area there so I just want to stay light and do high reps there then I did the lateral dumbbell raise I did the uh, shoulder routine uh, tricep so uh, I did the lateral Dumbbell raise, front dumbbell raise, and then the bent over dumbbell raise. And uh, that's it for bench day. So tomorrow squat day, and I'll see you down in the basement. If you like the video, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe.